Well, tomorrow, Baltimore will have a new mayor. But tonight, Brandon Scott sat in the city council president chair for a final time. WMER 2 News Eddie Kadem breaks down what happened at tonight's meeting on the eve of Scott's inauguration to be Baltimore's 52nd mayor. Good evening. This 96th meeting of the 72nd term. With that gavel swing, Mayor-elect Brandon Scott's final meeting as council president was underway. I have enjoyed each and every moment working with all of you who are on this council. One of the last bills he created as city council president is the landlord-tenant right to counsel and eviction cases bill. It's aimed at keeping people from experiencing homelessness, which is a growing concern as more people struggle to pay rent during the pandemic. It was also the final city council meeting for the two longest tenured members. Councilman Ed Reisinger represented the 10th district for 30 years. What I appreciate and will miss is the relationships that I've established in city hall and outside city hall. I'm going to really miss the people, uh, the community reps, the community, uh, business community reps, uh, my colleagues in the past and my current colleagues. Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark first became a councilwoman in 1975 and was the first woman ever to be the Baltimore City Council president. My goal has been to, um, as an elected official, to be an elected official who, um, retires without having had to commit a crime. So, so far, so good. Um, thank you all for being my, my family of, the, of City Hall. Scott has been putting his team together over the last few weeks. Today, he named Chris Shorter to the newly created city administrator position and Michael Huber, chief of staff. We have a lot of work to do. And that no, we're not going to always agree, but as Councilwoman Clark and everyone else has said today, it's about making sure that things are not personal, but that we are moving the city in the right direction for Baltimore. And I know that we would do that each and every day. Virtually reporting, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. And Brandon Scott's inauguration is tomorrow at noon and we'll be there to bring you all of the developments on air and online.